Hey guys, I'm here with a review for the Ipsy bag um, for the month of January. And I haven't made a video in a while and I really haven't been feeling like filming. But as soon as I got this bag, let me tell you, I was like... Alright, so this is my review for the month of uh, January for Ipsy. So this is the bag you get. Okay. And it's blue. It has like a bunch of makeup face stuff like lotion bottles, lipsticks, um, and stuff like that in the bag. I don't really like it. Um, I wouldn't buy this if they were selling this at the store, so therefore I don't really have, I don't really like it. Okay, but that's not what disturbed me. What disturbed me is when I took it out of the pretty little pink packaging that they sent it to you in, in the mail, and this smell came out of that. Like, the, you know what this smells like? It smells like something brand new that has been stored in like a storage container or a basement or a box for like years or an attic like I'm talking years okay <sighs> it smells so nasty Ugh, I'm not even gonna keep smelling it but so therefore like every time like I just need to honestly let me just take out my stuff and I'm gonna throw this thing away because it smells really bad really bad so, I mean, honestly, for, that's just, I'm, I don't even know what to say. But anyway, let's just get on to the products. But, yeah, so I just, it was, you know, that's not, I think, like, ugh. Anyway, let's just move on, okay? One of the first things I got was these, this Brigio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask for, um, for dry, damaged, or chemically, tre chemically treated hair. And it's pretty small. Um, it smells really good. Thank the Lord, because that would not have been good if it smelled. And this is what it looks like. I actually thought it was a mask for my face until I actually read it. But um, it smells really good, and I have a lot of hair. Hopefully this is enough for it, for me to know like if it's good or not. And then this lightweight moisturizing face lotion. And let me see how this smells. It's probably going to smell flowery. No, it smells kind of fruity. That's kind of nice for... I guess spring, yeah, like orangey. And then this Mika Beauty Cosmetics. And I think it's a yeah, tinted lip balm. This is what the package looks like. And let me, I can just go ahead. It's pretty. And swatch it. There it is. It's really soft. So it seems like it's going to be very, very moisturizing. And then, you know what I like this kind of color for? Because um, it kind of reminds me like grandma-ish color when I swatch it like that mauve look um, but you know what I like this for I like this for nude lipsticks that are too nude for me because let's face it not all nude lipsticks go with each of us like depends on our tan or uh, skin color so the ones that look extremely like nude or naked for me like pale I put this on or mix it with it and makes it better and then I got this smooth shadow creamy eye pencil from Elizabeth Mott and it's in the color Penny. It does look like a penny, actually. It's like brown. And it's nice and shimmery. It goes on really soft. I think I really like that. And then we got some Absolute Makeup Cleansing Tissues. And there's 10 of them in this container, in this bag. It looks like the Garnier Fructis packaging. Yeah. And that's about it. Until next video, bye.